And here I'm gonna need you to be a bit honest with me. It was the the picture you see at every U of T posting material. Okay, so 100% real answer. You definitely feel at home at Vic, so I think that's one of my favorite parts. Alright, this is a secret spot. Probably make some of your lifelong friends here as well. When I first came to the University of Toronto as a freshman, there was a single unanswerable question that stressed me out. What are colleges? If you're currently in or going into the vast art sci faculty, you'll know what I'm talking about. Right from when you first apply to the University of Toronto, you're given a list of U of T colleges and told to rank them. Eventually leading to the placement of a single college that will define your entire university experience. If you're anything like me, you probably didn't even know where to begin. Ran very brief Google searches and chose the one that looked the coolest. And that's what I'm here for today. Today, I'm going to provide some insight and knowledge into each college that I wish I knew coming into U of T. Or for existing students, interesting spots from each college that you probably didn't know about. Of course, I don't know about each of the colleges because I've only been to one. But that's why I've got some help. What about my name is Eliana Marino. My name is Jason. Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. My name is Liam Cole. My name is Rahul Parhar. Hi, I'm Adam. Uh, I'm Jacob. I'm from Victoria College, clearly. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> I be honest, why did you choose Vic College when you first came in from high school? Okay, so Victoria College and Trin are the only ones that require applications. So I was like, dang, these are prestigious. So I chose Vic. Oh yeah, when they're trying to film Columbia University for movies and they don't want to film the States, they film at Vic. This is our like main student center. So there's a lot of study spaces, our cafe and like games rooms and cat site, which is like our student office. This is all like study spaces and lounges, so you can study here. This is Cat's Eyes, it's like our student lounge, there's a stage for performances, so there's open mic nights and comedy nights, and there's a game lounge. And every Wednesday, yep, Pancake Wednesday, so you can come in and get as many pancakes as you want for free. I hear from a lot of other colleges that like roommates are close or like sweet mates are close. But with college, like the whole the, the whole college is really close. Like everyone is willing to talk to people. Everyone's open. Like you meet so many new people. You definitely feel at home at Vic. So I think that's one of my favorite parts. And here I'm gonna need you to be a bit honest with me. What? don't you like about Vic College? Uh, I think some of the buildings need a little bit of like modernization. Like my first year res, like it was four floors. There was no elevator. So moving in was quite hard because a lot of heavy things. Like we have more modern buildings, but our main reses are quite dated. And lastly, just anything else you want to highlight about Vic? Uh, I genuinely believe that Vic is the best college. Send your kids to Vic. Awesome. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. My name is Jason. I'm from University Boy, College. I my time daydreaming about us. I don't want your love. I just need your touch. Yeah, yeah, I want to feel, but I ain't trying to trust. It was the, the picture you see at every U of T posting material. It's that main building you see. So I was like, okay, let's go with you see. <laughs> right. I feel like it's his birthday. I don't fuck around. The, the buildings, they're very rustic. Mm -hmm. Old but still like have that really nice antique look to them. And it's along St. George Street, which is pretty busy and where most of my first year classes would be. Kind of like in the center of campus, right? You yeah, see? Yeah. It's like balcony style. <laughs> no way! Yeah, that was my Oh my god, that's so cool. Hi, hello. That's awesome. Thank you for watching, man. <laughs> Daydreaming about us. I don't want your love. I just need your touch. Yeah, yeah, I wanna feel Yeah, well, it's coffee bar. Okay. Yeah, too bad it's closed today, but hey, it's still got some really good coffee. What are some of your favorite spots in UC? I have to say specific spots because I was living in Morrison Hall. It would be Cafe Reznikov. Right, there's Morrison Hall up there. You see a big black building? Right. Tall. Fun fact for the squad, it's uh, occupied by a family of raccoons. Came here one night, saw eight raccoons. Nobody got a nobody. One eight spot. Right. And I, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot to like, but yeah, there's there's a few things. There is construction all year round, uh, either in like the main building, but now it's like that big old front campus where you see that. It's a major project, but still it's ruining a lot of that 
that look to the UC building. It's pretty much it. Is there any like last things that you want to know about UC or maybe to anyone coming into the university? Morrison Hall. If you're coming to UC, definitely choose the residence Morrison Hall, the most modern one here at UC. Um, I live there, so I'm like pretty biased. <laughs> but, but <laughs> My name is Eliana Marina and uh, I'm from New College. On the freeway, cruising down 85 and I'm feeling old. Why did you choose New College? Okay, so 100% real answer. I actually didn't know that we had to pick colleges, and so I looked at their websites, and I remember New College was very green. So I was like, oh, okay, I can do that. I can vibe with that, you know? Yeah, so I was like, okay, cool. And so I put that first, and I was like, all right. What are your favorite spots in New College? I don't want to be basic, but unfortunately for everybody, I am. It is the library, but the reason why is because we have the cheapest printing, so it's like three cents per page. So if you're a New College student, here's where you print stuff. Yeah. So like, can other people print here? I'm pretty sure they can. I don't know if the rates are the same, but I'm pretty sure it is. Oh shit, awesome. Um, I mean, shoot, awesome. <laughs> that connects two of the main buildings, which I think is really cool because I don't know many other buildings that have that. Again, my personal opinion, this is straight out of a movie, and I can't explain it to you why, other than that's just what it is. It's like a high school. Right? <laughs> but you can rent out, and what you do is you keep your books here. So instead of carrying a backpack back and forth, you just get in there. Oh my god, look. 1999 is when I was born. <laughs> and then there's people graduating. Are you going to be on there? I really hope so. Yeah. I will veto if I'm not. One of the things that I liked about New College was they had this uh, mentorship program for first year students. Any questions, and I mean any questions, um, you could ask them and be like, hey, I don't know how to pay my tuition. How do I do that? Or be like, I'm very scared about frosh. I don't know anybody. And chances are that they would be frosh leaders. So they'd be like, yeah, sure, come with me. I know you. What I don't like, the infrastructure. I'm I'm a type of person that like likes to look at pretty things and pretty buildings. New College has none of those. I'm very sorry to say, but it is the ugliest building we got. Um, although the new res that they made is prettier, and from what I hear is the best one out of everybody. Okay, awesome, thank you. Cool, yeah. So real quick, I want to give a brief overview on what exactly a college is. You can think of it as your main community during your time at U of T. And in a way, sort of like your own Hogwarts house. Most importantly, if you're living on campus, your college determines your residence building. Some colleges will have multiple building options, but you'll be in one of your college's residence buildings. Some of them will have meal plans like Fit College, and some of them like Woodsworth will have no meal plan, but you'll have your own shared kitchen and you'll be cooking for yourself. For each college, you'll have your own orientation, you'll have monthly, bi-weekly social events. So naturally, you'll just have an easier time getting closer to people from your own college. And on an admin side, your college's registrar is who you'll be going to for academic counseling, academic advising. They'll be the ones keeping tabs of you as a student at the university. And lastly, as you'll pretty soon see, each college has their own section on campus with their own buildings, study spaces, lounges, cafes, and more. My name is Liam Kolb, I'm from St. Mike's. Awesome. When I wanted to come to U of T, I wanted to like go to an older college and then I looked at like Trin and Vic and I had to do like more work to get into those like write an essay and shit like that so I just applied to St. Mike's and I got in. I really like how there's like a bunch of art everywhere like around St. Mike's like and it's really cool you know. Like I was walking around, St. Mike's is really big, right? Yeah, so what are your, some of your favorite spots? I really also enjoy Kelly Library. I know a lot of people say it looks like a prison and stuff like that, yeah. but um, it actually helps me to focus more when there's like no distractions, like no big windows, no like cool architecture to look at. And also it's like there's never very many people in there, so I can just like focus on my work, get shit done. Just like physical appearances, like the buildings are actually really beautiful here. Like they're really old and they're really cool. So like right beside Young Street too, so like you want to get like good food. Mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of food in Young Street. 
These are our residence buildings. I actually stayed in that residence building right there. Oh. They're like old um, houses from the 1800s that they renovated into studio dorms. Right. But like I was saying before, like you don't gotta be like Catholic to come mm. to uh, St. Mike's. It's basically just like Catholic in name. Like some of the buildings have Catholic names and stuff like that. Mm. Some of the pictures, like you'll see like Jesus on the wall or something like that. But other than that, I don't think they really push Catholicism onto you. I've seen your YouTube video. My name's Katzen. Hey, I live at St. Mike's, and I've seen your YouTube video. What do you think about St. Mike's? I think it's a very good location. I mean, the food's kind of. Can I, can I swear? It's really shit, but in the end, the people are nice. Yeah. I love living here. Thank you, bro. Take it easy. But I draw blanks. Go get it. I'm a gorilla. Got my Um, well, I definitely don't like how far away it is from literally everything else on campus. Like, to get to anything on campus, you gotta walk all the way across Queens Park. Yeah, there's a really cool basketball court outside and uh, come hoop. Uh, there's always people hooping there. So, yeah, it's a good time. Awesome. Okay, thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. My name's Rahul Parhar, and I'm a third year student at Ins College. Do you slide on all your nights like this? Do you try on all your nights like this? I remember Googling like U of T uh, colleges and I was checking out like Reddit posts, like blog posts, just anything. It seemed like Innis was like an artsy college. And I also remember hearing a rumor that Innis was a party college. Okay. So I was like, okay, <laughs> maybe I'll have fun. Try on all your nights like this. Probably my favorite go-to spot is in the Innis Cafe. The staff are, are really kind, really awesome, uh, and they even bring your food to you while you're sitting and studying. Pretty comfortable chairs and uh, great people always around. Alright, this is a secret spot, okay? Secret spot. Nah, this is this is for your last video. Underrated spots? Yeah. I'm telling you. I like to come here, especially when it's nice weather. Uh, get some fresh air, chill out. Yeah, it's usually sunny when I'm here. I don't know, I love it. I also really like uh, the Innis Quad, just sitting outside when it's when it's nice weather. And I've even had some some classes, like some tutorials held outside. I've also had a lot of time here, like playing frisbee, throwing around a football, uh, just enjoying the weather. Pick up a station, just uh, get some work done. We always talk about U of T, about how students are, are recognized as numbers and maybe not people. I've honestly never had that experience at Innis. I remember in my first year at orientation, there's this event called the Principal's Dinner. It's the principal of Innis College, personally going and meeting every student at orientation. He's the kind of principal where like, he'll remember these like little facts and I feel like developing like a relationship with the principal was that kind of thing that taught me like, that there is a community and there's there's something there. I'm gonna make a million on the average. I'm riding with no brain, bitch, I'm out of it. Um, a lot of residence kids will come down here when they need a place to work. It's just a common space. It gets tiring working in your room, uh, and I'm sure everyone knows you're never as productive in your bedroom. I think the college is honestly like really small. There is some expansion project in the works, mm -hmm. uh, and they're trying to make the college a bit bigger. I would say like more spaces for students would be really awesome. I'm really thankful that Innis, like I'm still a part of the community. I think contributing towards it makes you feel a bigger part of the community, uh, and so that's one of the reasons why I love Innis. You know, I think if you're looking for a college, uh, <laughs> Innis is a pretty good bet. Awesome, thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. Hi everyone, my name is Jenny, and I'm from Bosworth College. Yeah, I found the community very interesting. It's a very like, small cohort, so like compared to other colleges, I think like getting to know some people here, are, they're super sweet and kind. So I think that's also the main reason that I'm kind of happy that I chose with her, right? Google Hall, so you can study here. I guess like if you are in Rotman, in between classes, go here. Um, super nice place to study. This is a writing center. There are different writing coaches, and they really help you with academic essays. If you want an essay due, go here. You can definitely get some help. Is there anything you don't like about the college or things you'd like to see improved? So there are a lot of services, but it's just not promoted very well. So like, for example, there's a writing center, but I didn't really know about it until the second semester. In the beginning of my first year, I wasn't sure what program I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. So I did reach out to them and they helped me plan out my degree. So okay. I think that's also a really nice thing. So we are still at Woodsworth, but Amy over here is going to take us through a bit more of like the residence buildings. So to get into the residence building, you're going to need a fob. <laughs> It's not working. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait, I swear I'm not an imposter. <laughs> I live here. 
<laughs> Why is it not working, dude? <laughs> okay, so we're actually we're gonna we're gonna sneak in. <laughs> so here are some classrooms. A lot of Rotman courses are in these classrooms. There's also some study spaces, some nice private rooms. But then there's like the open study spaces as well. And now that you've been here for a few years, what is one or two of your favorite spots? The common rooms, like they have a really nice view, especially like on the top floors. Um, and it's a really nice place to study. We're in the common room. As you can see, you have a very nice view. We're on the 12th floor. There's some tables where you can study, some couches where you can chill. Yeah. Okay, for this question. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. For this question, I'm gonna need you to be a little honest. I just say I highly recommend the Woodsworth Residence building. Awesome. You're right next to the gym. Yeah. So if you want to go to the gym, it's like 30 seconds away. Should the varsity, yeah, varsity. The gold ring? It's pretty nice. That's the uh, Trinity backfield. Usually we do like soccer and Jamiro's. a lot of really nice people and probably make some of your lifelong friends here as well and um, I wish you guys all the best I guess <laughs> <laughs> okay awesome thank you but you know there really isn't a wrong answer here no matter what college you choose or what college you end up in there's gonna be a pretty solid community there but the biggest lesson that I've learned these few years is that good times and good friendships aren't just gonna magically appear in front of you you really just have to step outside of your comfort zone and make that first approach. Cause these can be some of your best years. So go have fun with it. What about me? What about me?